Can I heat that up for you? What? Your coffee, would you like a nice, fresh, hot cup? No, that's okay. What you figure a wedding dress would cost? Take a guess at it. Good. Take a wild shot. 100 bucks? Hey. Wrong. 650 plus tax. Ooh. You believe it? Hey, look, Fog, do me a favor, will you? Call my wife. I don't want to talk to her. Tell her to get the dress. I mean, what the hell? The kids only get married once. I think. Hey, you in charge here? Yeah, I got real lucky today. Lieutenant Tonelli, Major K Squad. The bomb squad's inside now. Oh, somebody left you a note. Hey, stay back there, will you? Keep them back! Communique, Puerto Rican Liberation Army. Hey, read this for me, will you? It gives me a headache. On behalf of the poor people of all the Americas, armed struggle is hereby declared upon the imperialist bank. Blah, system. blah, 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 bullshit. So what do you want to do? You want to go up there now or what? Now, I'll take some coffee, a Danish, and three aspirin. Yeah, I'll make a six. <laughs> you know, I got a feeling it's going to be another goddamn New York day.
right. When would you get back? Never mind when you got back. You got the three bucks you owe me? Hey, Joe, I'm broke. Uh, huh? I got to pick up my check. Hey, that's good. We got a game Monday. You in? Sure, but no. Uh, this time I'm bringing the card. That's OK. I'll take your money anyway. Hey, Lucy, you want to get down off your desk now? Give me my check. Keep the change. I'm rich. Hey, how do you like that? 10,000 people left New York last month. What do you want, the usual? Uh, give me three, one of each. How'd the Yanks do? Telling you, I went to see my sister-in-law in California last month. Forget it, it stinks. Three to two, they blew it. Well, don't tell me about California. I used to live there. Can't kill New York, and I can't kill a hot dog. Well, let them leave. It's more hot dogs for us. It's the greatest, you know? They just toss you on a lake. If you want me to answer, I'll answer. All right, all right. Vegas residence. This is the Ashley School. We're making an attendance check. Is your daughter going to be at school today? My daughter? <laughs> you mean Miss Clayton. LD, is that for me? The school wants to know if you're going. Of course. Why would they ask? You've been cutting classes because of summer. I don't know what they're talking about. Miss Clayton will definitely be on time. Thank you. Morning, board. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do, Gladys. I don't leave a lot. Hey, what are you doing Saturday? Ask me. Hmm. Ask me. Well, I just might do that. I'm sorry I gotta rush off, Mr. Boyd, but my sister's sick as a dog. Oh, your I'm coffee's sorry, on, I got right. the laundry folded, Fine. and your bed is all made up. Gotcha. You better get Kathy up or she'll be late for summer school. She was so excited about today, she didn't get much sleep. And I got a cake. A It'll cake. be here at 4 o'clock. I'll see you Wednesday. Okay, thank you. Oh, Mr. Boyd. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. Your ex-wife wants you to call her. Oh, great. Wake up, you rotten kid. Daddy! Hey, kid. It's your birthday. Hot dogs. Make a wish. But this is not my diet. Make a nice wish. Do I get my wish? What was it? Not to go to summer school this morning. Mm, damn. What? Well, you should have wished for something else. Oh, come on. Just today. We could go someplace special, you and me. Okay. After school, we get all we can. I'm going out to Mom's house tomorrow for a birthday dinner. She's been after you again. Right? I don't want to live in Connecticut. I want to live here with you still. You don't have to decide today. Okay. 
I love you, Dad. Good, I didn't get you nothing for your birthday. You're a liar. What? So what's that in your pocket? Give me that. Jerk. The ballet tickets, you got them. The ballet? Yeah. They said this was for the Yankee game. I was robbed. God damn, Daddy. The fifth row. That's because you're a terrific kid. Like your old man. Now, come on, I'm gonna jog you halfway to school, okay? okay. Come on, let's go. And give me that. You're on a come diet. On. You can't eat hot dogs. Let's go. face here gonna drive him fucking crazy. Really? Are you kidding? You got your old man's looks. Thank you. 
actually, I had reservations for two at, uh, at, uh, Ronald's. You know? Ronald's? Yeah, McDonald's. McDonald's? For my birthday? Yeah. What kind of a punk father are you? I guess I'm pretty punk, huh? Listen, I'll walk to school myself today, and you could go home and sleep. You got yourself a deal. Okay, you're a hard worker. See you hey. later. Happy birthday, huh? Thanks. Ow. Good. Don't make a sound and you won't get hurt. You better let me go. Don't give me any bullshit. Just stay down and keep your face shut. Son of a bitch. Was to play chicken? Okay. I used to drive in the Puerto Rican 500. You know what that is? You get about 500 guys, and you all go over to Cratona Park and get loaded. Then everybody goes out and steals a car, and the first guy to make it to buy on the jersey, pop like this, he's the winner. Okay, we'll be on this ass like white on rice, baby, like white on rice. A grab your kid, a color guy? A white guy. Figures, mostly a perverts are white guys. No offense, but every time I catch a guy hanging his ass out the window, a jank and a spring in the best seat, God damn it, it's a white guy. I don't know what's the matter with you people, you must wear your underwear too tight or something.
this your truck? A guinea shield, wool. I got an emergency here. You want to move it out? Uh, foom, foom, need foom, foom. Don't give me that witch doctor shit. Just move the truck. Hey, you, come here. Get in here. Tricks like back there in the car. Hey, what's that? Get inside. Ow! Damn it! Get up, will you? Come on, keep moving. Down. You, man. Hey, you don't want no shit. That's your fucking question. You're gonna be a fucking punk. I'll kick your fucking ass. You Take understand? Your hands off me. You... <laughs> oh, yeah. He got me. Oh, shit. He got me. You hear me? I'm not stealing your no, car. No, no, don't worry. I got insurance. <laughs> Praise God.
Hey, can I help you? Yeah, let me have uh, chocolate on a stick. Okay. There's not much you can do to a uh, chocolate on a stick, eh? Yeah, that's right. Business is okay, huh? Eh? Oh, it's dynamite. And the reason I ask is this uh, Frankie, this guy that my daughter's gonna marry, he's thinking of opening up a frozen yogurt joint like this. You know, he wants me to sort of invest. Uh, How much you make here, anyway? About three, four thousand. A week? Well, more when it's hot. Hey, this guy Frankie, he's a tall, thin guy with a mustache? I don't know. I've never seen him. I've heard him on the phone, though. He sounds nice on the phone. Lieutenant, we ought to get back here, huh? Yeah, just a second. Hey, this stuff ain't bad. It's like ice cream. Well, it's much better. Low in calories, no fat. Great. Where are you putting this shit? Well, they take some old milk, you know, and they kind of let it go bad, all curdled and lumpy and sour. Then they load in this uh, bacteria culture. You mean like a disease? Yeah, kind of. You know, germs, uh, kind of like a mold that grows in the milk and it... Hey! Hey, where you going? I'm out of here. Excuse me. <laughs> well, you're inside. We just got another call. It's another problem. I don't want to hear about it's it. It's a kidnapping. Follows the next cop. Wrecked half the city, chasing after some guy. Now he's on the hospital, raising all kinds of hell. nice up here. I mean, it was beautiful. My family owned 97 units all up and down this block. Look at it now. You used to live here? I still live here. I'll always live here. Nobody's kicking my ass out. I don't care how many spicks and niggas you send in here to burn the place down. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what they did to this place. I'm talking about the rich bastards in the city. 60 million in poverty funds, in the pocket, out of the pocket, rent control, welfare, bullshit. I got the names. I got articles in the newspapers. They're all gonna pay. They send the spicks and the niggas in here to shit all over my neighborhood. Look at this place. Look what these animals done to it. That's my building. I can't even pay the taxes on it. Now the city's taking it away from me. They're gonna tear it all down. You know what they'll do then? Sell the land cheap. I know who buys it. I know who's buying up all the land in the whole South Bronx. Clayton goddamn properties, a goddamn old man. My father? He don't even Shut up, the hell are you know? But my name isn't Clayton, it's Boyd, Kathy Boyd. Kathy Boyd? Your name's Kathy Boyd? <laughs> Think you're pretty smart, don't you? It won't do you no good to lie to me. Say, I know who you are. <laughs> well, you don't understand. My father isn't rich at all. Not rich enough, huh? Sure, 
rich bastards never have enough, do you? No matter how much you got. Sure as hell got a lot more than I do, don't you? Huh? Well, sure, I guess God so. Goddamn right, the old man's gonna pay you up big. Why don't you understand me? I have no reason to lie to you. All the rich bastards lie. That's how they get rich and that's how they stay rich. They're not putting anything over on me because I'm wise to their tricks with their taxes and, and bullshit and all the little games they play so good, huh? They're all in it together, juggling the books. Well, now they're gonna pay. Now I'm gonna be the juggler. I'm gonna juggle the books my way and it's gonna balance out for me. you just come with me I know a place we can hide out and nobody will find us <laughs> what do you say huh pretty little thing you hello partner get the hell away from her <laughs> you're a dirty man Whitey. you hear me I'm giving you a chance to walk away take it hey friend have a drink We'll throw us a little party. <laughs> what do you say, huh? Share and share alike. Last chance, Jigaboo. Get the fuck out of here. Try that again. There's a lot of very bad people live around here. Let's go. This guy coming from the Major K Squad. Talk a few things over with you. Oh shit. Relax, would you? Are you ready? Here, try these. Yeah, this is no good. I gotta be able to move around. No, I'm afraid you can't, you know. You really shouldn't put any weight on that. Well, can't you find me a cane or something? Well, listen, I don't know what there is left around here, you know. The city's gonna close down the whole house. Well, can't hospital. you find me something? I gotta get out of here, you understand? I gotta find my little girl. Sure. I understand. I'll see what I can dig up for you. What the hell does it matter to you? I'm asking you, let me go. You know I can't do that. I just took my start. Tell them they took me down to X-ray and I disappeared. No, I can't do that. Put yourself in my place. I'd hate to be in your place. Because you're going to have to shoot me in the back. A caterer? What for? Wrong. You give them lasagna, antipasto, wine, and rich crackers. Hey, listen. A father ain't supposed to have nothing to do with a bridal shower. Of course I want it nice. Look, I know that Margaret is my daughter. And so is Teresa. So is Annette. So is, uh, uh, uh what's her name? Uh, uh, Michelle. Right. All right, go ahead. Do what you want. Right, goodbye. Go, Mac. You got change the quarter? No, I don't. Yeah, I got some guns. Hey, handsome. Hey, Mr. Boyd, I found a cane for you. Boyd? Sean Boyd? Hold a second there, please. Detective Fogarty, you're under arrest. 
Francisco. Francisco. Lieutenant Tonelli, Major K Squad. I'm really sorry. That's okay. As if I ain't got enough to worry about with the Puerto Rican bombers. I want a full report on the officer who was holding this man. Are you gonna behave yourself? I gotta have to put the cuffs on you. All right, come on, let's take a little ride. Now cut the bullshit, Tonelli. What the hell's going on with my kid? Nothing new. We're working on it. The guy used a stolen car, right? We got a zero on a fingerprint so far. <laughs> You're a friggin' one-man riot, boy. Hit and run, assaulting a transit officer, grand theft auto. But crying out loud, boy, don't you know that stuff is against the law? Hey, it was a 1013. I was pursuing a felon. Yeah, but you forgot one thing. You ain't a cop no more. I heard all about you in the 22nd precinct. A little too smart for your own good, huh? So when the city went broke and they laid off all those cops, I gave them a chance to get rid of you, right? Wait a minute, listen. The guy dropped something around 42nd Street. What'd he drop? Well, I don't know. You know, one of those porno girls picked it up at a parlor. Could be something. Look, uh, I gotta take you in for all that shit you did. You got a right to a lawyer, you got a right to bail, the same as anybody else. Hey, fuck everybody else. You know, I'm a cop, just like you. I was. Yeah, I know. And if it was my kid, I'd probably be going nuts, too. Well, then let me help. Let me get to a car. I'll find the son of a bitch myself. I'll find him. Find nothing. You'll only screw things up. What do you think would have happened if you would have caught up with that nut? He might have shot you and your daughter. I want you off the streets, for your sake and for her sake. I want you to go downtown and straighten that out. And get in touch with me. Well, now, goddammit, now. Look, these things don't work that way, Boyd. I got a hold of your ex-wife. She's gonna meet you down here. You know, Tonelli, you know when they laid off all those cops? They should have saved some big money. They should have canned your ass. Wolfgang likes my friends. He gets real mad when they don't do what I say. Well, come on. Go in the kitchen, baby. Go get your bone, Wolfgang. Go ahead. Come in, come in. Sit over there. That was my mother's chair. Used to be the nicest one we had. Still is. Now, I don't want to hear nothing out of you. You understand? I don't want to hear a sound. OK? Yes. Mrs. Clayton, please. Mrs. Clayton, it's for you. Who is it, Ellie? I don't know. It sounds like the school. Oh, my God, not again. You've gotten yourself in hot water at that I school swear, again. I'll bring I don't you understand. Back. I just don't. Hello? You want to see your kid alive again or cut up in chunks of meat? I want a million bucks. I got it right here. A million bucks or chunks of meat. Got it? I don't understand. I got your fucking little million dollar kid here. I want the money. You get it. I'll call back. What'd they want this time? Nothing. LV? Yes, Mrs. Clayton? Where's my father's number in the country? You know it's in here somewhere. Hey, Mom. I, I think you better call the... Mr. Clayton. Mom, no, 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 on second thought, I think you better call the police. Mom, what's wrong? I got a surprise for you. Look what you get to have. I got some real nice stuff for you to eat with ice cream afterward. 
But you gotta eat your sandwich first. That's what my mother always said. You gotta eat your lunch or you can't have dessert. Don't you wanna have your ice cream? No, thank you. I'm on a diet. You're gonna eat it, God damn it. I bought it for you. What do, you, what do you mean you're on a diet? You know, I'm too plump. What are you out of your mind? Woman's got to have some meat on her bones. That's what my father always said. You got to have meat. He used to see those pictures of those skinny models, you know, in the magazines. He said they looked like men. Now your mother, he said, your mother's got some meat on her bones. And he'd laugh and laugh. I think you look just fine. You're gonna have your lunch now, right? 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 Fogarty, this is Boyd. Yeah. I'll book this through, Tolly. He's an old buddy of mine. Lieutenant Tanelli called down about. Hello, Mr. Boyd. You're supposed to book through and then take him down to 42nd Street. Yeah, yeah, I know Street. all about it. I'll handle it. I'll take good care of Mr. Boyd. I just hope to God that I would see you again. I want to make a phone call. <laughs> yeah. Be my guest. Only first, we got a full report to make out, right, Mr. Boyd? What the fuck are you pulling? Tonelli said the Tinelli book. said don't down mean down shit around seconds. here. Now, you want to move into the interrogation room, Mr. Boyd? I want a lawyer, Barnes, now. You wrote a report that I was making a Puerto Rican chick in the station house, yeah, Mr. Boyd? Yeah, getting rich, knocking down on all the uh, pimps. You know what that did to my wife and kid? She make you sleep on the couch? There's nothing I'd rather do than stay here and kick the shit out of you. But we haven't got time. <laughs> time, you maggot! You got Darn. me suspended too loud, and that's what happened. I grabbed my kid. I have to beg him just to get back on the very floor. Bitch, they bounced me in and out of every fucking precinct in this city, and I got you to die for it. Luckily, shut up! Hey, listen to me, you lame idiot. You're supposed to be a cop. You miserable scum. Up and ratted on your fellow brother officer. You protect your own, Mr. Boyd! Scum like you don't belong in the force! When they got the chance, they can. You're rotten ass! Not mine, you bastard! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Sean? Sean! What happened? Hey, Martin, let's get out of here. Where's Kathy? They said something Martin. happened to her. Where is Martin, she? Martin, let's go. What's wrong? Dry and slow. They booked me and I walked out. I don't understand. We were in the park jogging. Kathy went off towards school. I heard her scream and some guy grabbed her and pulled her into the what? car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe God. won't hurt her. You know, some of these guys just, uh, well, maybe you'll just let her go, you know? Was she, I mean, when you saw her, was she all right? Yeah, I think so. Turn here. I'll find her, I promise you. How are you going to find her? Look, these things happen. Happen? Yeah, sure they happen. That rotten neighborhood and the creeps in that park. What the hell else did you expect to happen? Look, if it makes you feel better to blame it on me, go ahead, OK? Is that what you want? Since when did you ever care what someone else wanted? I did what I had to. You did what you wanted to, and you always do what you want to. And now you're a lousy truck driver, and you live in a slum with the rest of the degenerates, and Kathy pays for it. You kept her there, goddammit, now she pays for it. It isn't fair. Stop the friggin' car. Stop. Hey, she don't want to live in a goddamn house in Connecticut. You understand? She wants to stay here, you neurotic bitch. She likes the city. That's because she's never known any different. She grew up in a goddamn cesspool where people are raped on the streets. Hey, I'm sorry. We all can't be born rich. Oh, bullshit. You could have had a career. You just had to louse everything up. What was so wrong if a couple of cops made some extra money? Everybody makes extra money. Shit, yes, and move to Connecticut and live in a rich fucking house? All I had to do was keep my mouth shut and play the game and ride the train, right? All I ever wanted was to move to a decent place. All you Just ever the wanted was same place where more. we could bring up Kathy! I know you couldn't move. You love New York. You love the old neighborhood! <laughs> You're full of shit! <laughs> Hey, Barbara, she'll be okay, you know? You go stay at your sister's. I'll let you know. Huh? I'll let you know. Have your missus and your daughter get on a plane and go out to the coast. Or if you got a place in Connecticut. You know, it's a damn shame, Lieutenant, when people can't live in their own apartment. It's a nice place you got here. What does it set you back? Two thousand a month? We own the building. Marguerite, this is Lieutenant Tonelli. He asked if there were any sounds, any uh, noises that came through when the phone call came in. No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. All right. If he calls back, this time we got him on tape. You know, maybe we'll hear something we can identify. Fogarty, is that Rick plugged in the phone company yet? We got it all hooked up. Anything that comes in, we trace, except it's going to take two minutes. All right, I want to test it myself. Use that phone over there, Lieutenant. All right, uh, Fogarty, down my house, will you? OK. Excuse me. You got it? Got it. Hello? Who? It's me. No, no, I can't talk now. I'm just testing on the phone. Be all right, baby. <laughs> hey, 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 pipe down. Huh? People are listening. <laughs> no, 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 it's all right. Huh? I don't want to hear about invitations now. Wrong. Goodbye. This works very well. Now, I want you to do what you normally do. Only keep your daughter inside. I'll check back with you later, say, tonight. But aren't you staying, Lieutenant? I mean, until he calls. He's a nut. Maybe he called once. Who knows if he's going to call again? Look, I got a lot of stuff. I had five bomb calls today. Can you believe that? I'll see you later. <laughs> but aren't you assigned to this case, Lieutenant? Right. I'm assigned all over the place. I'll be back. Lieutenant! I pay more taxes to this city in one month than you and your whole damn precinct earn in a year. I think I'm entitled to some consideration. Meaning what? Go ahead, why don't you say it? What are you gonna do, call your friend a commissioner? Who else, the mayor? Tell him I wanna raise. I don't make idle threats, Lieutenant. I take action and I get results. You know, I deal with murderers, 
rapers, thieves, creeps of all kinds, they don't scare me. You scare me. I'll see you later. Hello, is this the Clayton residence? Yes. Have you got Prince Albert in the can? I'm sorry, what did you say? What I said was, do you have Prince Albert in the can? You better let him out. <laughs> Who is this? You got the goddamn million bucks like I told you. Uh, listen, this is Mr. Clayton. My wife doesn't want to talk to you. You talk to me, you understand? Mr. Clayton? Clayton Century Properties? How's the real estate business, you fucking multi-millionaire bastard? Fine. I'll bet it is. You don't have no niggas in Puerto Ricans taking over your buildings, do you? What do you mean? I'm wise to your game, you son of a bitch. You send the spicks and the niggas in to ruin a decent neighborhood so you can buy it up cheap, tear it all down, and put up your own fancy buildings. Well, look, if there's something that I've done or something that my company has done, I'm sure we can settle. If you'll just give me some way that I can get hold of you. The fuck I will. I'm giving you shit. You're giving me a million bucks so you'll never see your kid again, got it? Yeah. So listen, uh, how are you going to get my kid, huh? I'll cut her up, you son of a bitch. She's sitting right here. She's sitting there? You got the goddamn million like I told you? Yeah, uh, I got the million. Where did you get her? Outside your Belfair Arms, Clayton. In the park? There's a concert there tonight. Behind the stage, there's a maintenance building. That's where I want the money. One man walks in, leaves the money inside. You understand? And I'm watching all the time. Yeah, but how do I know you got my kid? How do I know you got any kid? So I'll cut a hand off and send it to you in a paper bag like you sucker screwed everybody else out of their property. Uh, put her on the phone. Uh, let me talk to her. Fuck you, I'll put her on the phone. Well, he's got a kid there, all right. And it ain't yours. Jesus Christ. I bet it's boys, girl. They got it all. They got the whole goddamn world. Let the spick niggas in. You know why? So everything stays the same. Because as soon as everything gets too good, nature says you gotta balance it all back. So they send the spicks and the niggas in to keep everything just right. 98.6. Stick a thermometer up the Earth's ass any time, day or night. 98.6 in the beehive. Anybody gets in the way of that, anybody don't like that, they kick his ass out of the beehive because nature don't like that. Well, fuck you, nature. Fuck you! Barnes, 22nd Precinct. Yeah, give me a 22-5. Suspect Sean Boyd, 6'2", Caucasian, 175 pounds. Wears a beard, wanted for assault on officer, an attempted murder. Suspect believed headed for the 42nd Street Porno District. Out. It's yours. It's all yours. Every fantasy you've ever had. Right this way. In the hey, brother. But where you going, man? You looking around or you going to the down? Family, mother and hey, daughter. I got something nice and young. Got a nice, great piece of white chicken here. Uh, no rough stuff with this broad, you know what I mean? If you want rough stuff, I mean, I can get that too. Hey, I'm looking for a girl I saw this morning. She was out in front of one of these joints in a robe. Hey, I could get them dressed up any which way, but I mean, what you dig? Leather, I mean, some lace, or how about a cowgirl outfit? Or how about something, you know, hey, hey, where you going? Hey, you don't want to go in there, man, that's self service. Who we'll stroke your own? Quarters. Quarters. Everything costs quarters. Hey, man, give me some help. Yeah, what for? Hey, I'm looking for a girl who was out front this morning in a robe. Well, the chick's downstairs, at this room, but you don't see yeah, the same, same girls quarters. that were here this morning, right? Well, partner, money talks and bullshit walks, and that's the way it'd be. Sure, take five for yourself and five for quarters. 
Thanks, friend. Those same girls are still here, but I don't know which chick you're looking for. What is? Everything costs what? Shake it up, shake it up. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Come on, Daddy. Booth number six is open, and we've got three hot, nasty, lovely ladies doing it for you, doing it to you, yeah. Ooh, reach in your pocket and grab onto some hard ground. Ooh, it's a quarter. Ooh, we got a slot for your quarter, Daddy. Listen, my guy ran by here this morning and dropped oh, something, and one of these girls picked it up. Picked it up. Yeah. Hey, you listen to me. Hey, I'm talking to you. Dropped. It's dog license or something. And that medallion. Thanks, so. Oh, this is so much more important than keeping my Oh! 
because you're blasting off that right, shotgun. Right, right. Because I don't give a shit you're who you're shooting, shooting at. You can't blast people out. off the sidewalk. Get off my back. Fuck, I don't believe it. Nut picked a hell of a good spot for a drop. I mean, how the hell are you going to stick out a crowd like this? He's some kind of wise guy. He thinks he's going to use this rock concert as a decoy. Maybe, yeah, maybe. What's this? You know, I think this wacko's gonna come strolling through that jungle like he was King Kong. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter because he's gotta come out into the open to get the money. Maybe. That's it. What do you mean, that's it? We got the light towers. We man the light towers. He steps into the open ground, we whack him and crossfire, bingo. Finished, ended. You start firing around a crowd like that, you're gonna have a freaking riot on your hands. What well, riot are we gonna have on our hands? These kids are all pilled up. You know what they're gonna hear? They're gonna hear a couple of pops, Tanelli. A couple of pops and some background rock and roll music. And suppose he's got the kid with him. He's been using her as a shield. Well, then we gotta aim a little high, you know? Now, you wait just one freaking minute, Dietz. We're talking about an ex-cop's daughter here. I got my problems downtown on this. I'm getting a lot of heat on it. You understand that? Well, you can just tell that rich fucking whore Clayton that he can send the chief of police himself down here personally to kick my ass if he wants to. I ain't sending no kid through no crossfire. You got that? Now, come on. Let's see what we got over there. Why don't you go up there, check the attic? Yes, sir. Could be rats up there. What the hell is a rat gonna do to you? Can't eat you. Friggin' tiger or something, that'd eat you. Go ahead. All right, we'll place one of your trigger happy faggots right there. Where you what? At. Don't worry about it. We'll place one of my men up there where you are. That's better. It'll be dark. We'll put the money over here. The nut comes through the door. Then even if he's got the girl with him, we've got a clear shot at him. Clear enough. No crossfire, no riot, no bullshit. You got it? Okay, Tanelli. We'll work together on this one. I'll give your man first crack at it. But if he screws up, I am gonna personally waste anything that's moving. Thank you, Miss. Yeah. Uh, give me a 1090. New York City Animal Regulations records. Yeah, Barnes, Barnes. New York City Animal Regulations records. Give me the goddamn address, all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. My mother used to like Blue. She and the old man used to go to concerts all the time. Carnegie Hall and all that. She's buried over in Brooklyn. We own the whole goddamn block. It's a very pretty dress. You look very nice in it, too. I want you to have it. You can keep it, okay? Thank you. It's all right. I'll make it all back anyway, with interest. A million dollars worth. But I told you, my father doesn't have a million dollars. You just keep it up. Go ahead. Maybe you can convince me, but you better hope not, because if I don't get my money, you know what's gonna happen to you, don't you? My father was a policeman. You were a little liar. Think you could scare me off saying that? You know what my mother used to do to me when I lied? She used to take me by the ear, drag me in the kitchen, and wash my mouth out with soap.
Is that what you want me to do to you? Today, I mean, this morning, it was my birthday. Well, you were going to the ballet and someplace special for dinner. Had a heavy date, huh? With my father, not with the boy. I never had a real date yet with a boy. Oh, crap. It's uh, kind of funny. Uh, here I got a thousand dogs that don't have no tag, and you come in here with a tag that don't have no dog. I don't care about the dog. I gotta find the guy that used to own the dog. Hey, this has been one hell of a crazy day, you know. Now, uh, you know, I'm busy, you know. It's close to quitting time. Oh, I get it. Money talks and bullshit walks, huh? Hey, that ain't nice. Uh, that ain't necessary. Okay, uh... Play it on the next chain. People fix them up like that when they got a special dog and a dog. That's an old number, maybe uh, 10, 15 years. The guy that dropped that tag, he's wanted by the cops. He grabbed my kid, he still got her. Yeah, I know people like I know my dogs. And I believe you. I hope the records girl hasn't gone home yet. You'd be surprised at the records we got here. Could be filed on anything, dog bites, dog strays, miscellaneous animals. We're going to be here for some time. I told Maria here about your kid's story. She's going to stay late and help out. She knows where all the bodies are buried. Watch your head. Don't worry, we'll find it. Yeah, we got all the goddamn records. They want to know how we spent 15 cents. We, got we aren't looking for any 15 cents. Do you think you could get this box down for me? Yeah, why not? Uh, sure. The receipts like that started with Fiorella LaGuardia. Everything before him was all graph. Dollar in your pocket, dollar for the city. Aye, the numbers, they make a jump here. This series. We well, ought to have all this mid-1964. Water flooded here in 72. Soaked the whole goddamn place. Don't worry, we, we say most of it. Right, Maria? If it isn't in these license receipts, we'll go on to the rabies shot records. We'll keep digging. And don't worry about the overtime. I already punched out. <laughs> I'll take care of this. Just get lost, okay? Stay out here, Sergeant Barn, please. Just stay out. <laughs> Seven one, seven two, seven three, seven four, seven five. I got it. Run. Go ahead. Run. Listen to me, boss. I found him. I got the guy's name and address. What the f are you doing? Police business. Now move outside, Mr. Boyd. Sure, but let's call outside. it in first. For Christ's sake, it's a kidnapping. You got one case to worry about. An escaped fucking prisoner. You. That's the one I'm going to take care of, one way or the other. Right? Now move. Please, officer. Move. Let me God have the name. I can tell. Don't say so I can blow your fucking mind. You've got every right to be honest, but don't take it out of my chair, huh? Move. Now take five minutes. Go ahead. I've got the address, huh? Just call it in. Look, don't you understand that paper? That's the only chance my kid has got. I'm gonna take it and throw it down a freaking sewer. Huh? Now move. <laughs> Bleeds to death. Hey, somebody call an ambulance! Just so. Beggar Avenue? 
Boston, dressed in the South Bronx, isn't it? I go home that way. I take the Cullum line. It's a pretty bad neighborhood. Yeah, I know. You should really do something for I that. I don't need nothing. The police, they couldn't help you? You saw how the cops helped me. Well, they're not all as bad as this one. Look, if this guy Soltik smells the cops coming in, who knows what he'll do to Kathy? Besides, I want this bastard myself. You should have a weapon or a gun or something. Yeah, I wish I had a gun. My brother has a gun, but he's from Brooklyn. Look, where do you get off? 185th. There you go. Thanks. How old's your daughter? 15. Today. Her birthday? Yeah. Today. How about that? I bought her tickets to the ballet. You know, she, she's crazy about the ballet. Now, I know this sounds funny. It's hard to keep thinking. Uh-uh. I'm sorry she is gonna be the piss that ballet. I don't even know if she's in alive and I keep thinking about the goddamn ballet. It'll be all right. Your stall. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll see you. Six man, we cut your nuts off. Hey, 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 hey. She's hey. helping me find this address. Then get your ass out of Puerto Rico. Come on, look, I'll take him out. He already paid me. You're like shit. Yeah, yeah like shit. No, Belen, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out I got no reason to mess with her. And I sure got no time to mess with you. I only want to find this guy Solte. Where? Well, then you find him. You dig it? You find him, asshole. Get him, cut him. Hey, bro, out of Get the hell out of 3, here. 3925 Becker Avenue. You got you. What's the matter with these people, anyway? Well, you, you're the welfare or the credit man or a cop. No, what's that supposed to mean? Honey, why else does a white man come around here asking questions? You push too hard. People gonna push back. Shit. You white folks and brought us nigga slaves over here to pick cotton and make you rich. And we've been a pain in your ass ever since. But did you learn? Mm-mm, no, sir. Tell me about it. Mm. Now, instead of niggas, you done bought in the Puerto Ricans. And, honey, they a pain in the ass to everybody. Mm. Clayton? Here it is. 9 p.m., the concert starts. The music's playing, everyone's having a good time. One guy goes behind the bandstand, walks into the maintenance building. He comes out leaving the money. No cops, no nothing. Yeah, I got it. One guy alone. 
Right. Alone, right. And I'll have a knife on the kid all the time, you understand? I'll cut a goddamn head off. Okay. Fucking Hampton, Richmond, Clayton, the third. 9 p.m. And no shit with the serial numbers, right? They're all mixed up. They're in the suitcase. All hundred dollar bills. Yeah. Ten thousand hundred dollar bills, right. What the fuck was that? Uh, nothing, nothing. I dropped something. You lying bastard, you bugging this phone? No, no, no. Look, we got the money. We got the money here. We? What's the we shit? You got oh, it and no, I got no. the goddamn kid. You! You! Get over here. Tell him you want to go home or I'll kill you. Tell him. Say it. I, I want to go home. Please, he's going to kill me. Okay. You hear that, suck tooth? And you told me your father was a goddamn cop. <laughs> Time to get the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, sweet meat. I, I'd better change. Rockefeller Plaza, Becca Avenue. You got to be on this block somewhere. Excuse me, lady. Looking for me. White man? Uh, you lived on this block for good. I had a kid with him. 3925. Got a doll. I love him, Ryan. There he is. There goes the motherfucker. What's the name of that man you say you're looking for? Zoltik. Gus Zoltik. Gus Zoltik. Zoltik? Oh, you mean the mole man. Works down in them steam tunnels on the Central Park. Rolls down them pipes with all the rats. Shit. That sucker is crazy. Where is he now? That's the mole man building right over. I see nobody, man. I didn't see nobody. Japan shit. 
You all right? Hey, yeah, thanks. I owe you one, huh? <laughs> hey, you take this. Yeah, Lieutenant Tonelli, where the hell is he? He's on a snake Ransom? What do you mean, ransom? Get Tonelli, goddammit. What stage? Where? Sons of bitches. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing, I'm man? I'm going to get my daughter. You're going to get killed, is what you're doing? Nelly doesn't know that Soldier works under the park, and he ain't going to be doing what they think. Won't be long now, kid. We got him right where we want him. You and me. Business. Lieutenant Tonelli, Major K I Squad. I want you to do me a favor. I don't sing Bolade. Listen, honey, when you stop playing tonight, no matter what happens, just keep playing loud. You understand? No problem. No problem. The money sure looks real as hell, don't it? Tell those guys to quit screwing around. It's almost time to put the money where I told you. Go ahead. Enjoy it. I'm not going to do this too much more. Sounds like they're waiting for us up there, don't it? Ooh. They think they're gonna catch me when I get the money. They think I'm coming out, but I'm not coming out. Maybe you're not either. Maybe when we get that money, we can both go off together somewhere, me and you. But you told him that you'd let me go. You promised. Maybe you won't want to go back. Be rich. Think about it, OK? in the tunnels, in the pipes under here. What? He's gonna come up under that fucking building. Under? 
Oh shit. Leeds, give me that radio. Then I'll wait to Anderson. Anderson, come in. Come in. I told you no tricks or I'll kill the kid. Kathy! Sotek, you got the money. Let her go. You in there, listen to me. You got the wrong kid. I don't give a shit who I got. But I got the money, don't I? Huh? You don't really want him to find us, do you? Because if he did, he'd ruin it for us, wouldn't he? Million dollar baby. Why'd you do that? Listen to me. Get away from us! Listen to me! I don't care about you, or the cops, or the money. Take the money. Keep the friggin' money. Just let my kid go.
to be with me. You got the money. I want the money for her. We're gonna have fine things again, like it used to be. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna have everything we want. Everything's gonna be just right. Now get out of here and leave us alone. Get out of here! Don't be afraid. Get out of here! We won't hurt you. Just go on. See? She wants to stay with me, right? Please, I want you to stay. Could you please stay so everything could be right again? Up right on out the top. I love you, little girl. I'm gonna kill you. Just like your old man. Come on. 